Hello everyone. As you know, I wanted to do another experiment using different materials. I'm starting my experiment today with only two worms per worm bed or bin or cup. I found that these little microwavable cups are great to do experiments in because they actually have these little lids that has holes already in them. So all I have to do is put the material in, wet it, put my worms in, and put a lid on it. And it just makes great for only using a couple of worms. Um, gives them plenty of room to move around, do whatever they're going to do, and um, uh, see how, how this is going to go. So today our, our experiment is starting with just some plain old dirt from outside. Now we've already put two worms in each one of these cups and I've noticed that they've already gone down into the material, but I assure you there is exactly two worms per cup. We also have, um, my husband actually did some um, shredding of some limbs today. So this is from an oak tree and uh, then I soaked it in some water and um, so it's just uh, chopped up, shredded up oak tree. Then we have just shredded cardboard. I did soak my cardboard first and um, I also added just a little bit of sand on the top for some grit. Then we have just plain coconut core. Same thing, I've added a little bit of dirt for, on each one just to give them some grit. Then we have peat moss, just plain peat moss. We have plain um, um, grass. This is just dried grass. Then we have oak leaves because unfortunately only kind of leaves I have are oak leaves. Um, we did moisten those. Then we have compost. And then we have just some chopped up pine straw, pine needles. Um, down here in Georgia, most of our trees are pine trees. Um, pine trees are acidic. Um, I'm not going to add anything to that because I just want to see how the worms are going to react to the environment. So that'll be interesting to see. Now, in doing this experiment, um, we may or may not have some casualties. Um, but that's another reason why I like doing it with these small cups because you only have two to have a casualty on. Um, but we're going to try to make sure that we're checking them daily. If we see that any of them are not performing well, we'll get them out of that material, put them back into a, a great environment. We don't want to lose any of our worms. We love our worms and we don't want anything to happen to them. So we will be keeping an eye on them every day. We will try to do updates weekly, um, depending on how my time uh, provides, because we do a weekly video on Sundays at 2 p.m. It's a live video. We're coming into spring, so we're getting really busy. But at the same time, I really want, I've been wanting to do this experiment. I've been wanting to use these little cups. Um, so if you have small children or grandchildren and you you are using these cups for a snack or something, try it in a little worm experiment. Let me know how your experiments are going, what materials you are using. I would love to, to see what other people are trying. Um, another thing, um, a lot of you um, have asked me about how to make, well, you know what, we'll cover that in another video. All right, guys, signing off. Y'all have a wonderful day, and we'll be back.